Hey you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today's video I'm really excited about because we're talking about block scheduling, which is something that I think I've never really tried. I've had like some idea of what I wanted to do and what I needed to focus on certain days, but I've never really, you know, gone full force into block scheduling and I am starting to do that this coming up year and because I know a lot of us are getting ready for the upcoming year and I know that we all have hopes for 2021 I don't know about you guys but I feel like 2021 is going to be amazing I don't know I just have like good vibes a good energy about 2021 so I'm really excited about it and I'm just like I wrote down so many notes the other day about how I'm going about planning my block scheduling and I thought you guys maybe would benefit from it and enjoy it a little bit if you're like me and you are getting ready for 2021 and thinking of how you can make it better. So what is block scheduling ex exactly? Basically it's just you have a, a bunch of different tasks that you have to accomplish and you decide which day you're going to accomplish each thing based on a certain amount of time. So, for example, if you decide you're going to write every day and you, you're going to set aside a block schedule of time from like eight in the morning till 11 in the morning and that is what you do and you do nothing else, that is what block scheduling is all about. So what I wanted to do is just, I just wanted to take you guys through my method and what I did. So let's jump in and hopefully it'll help you get started. And again, I'm not an expert at this. Again, I've never really done it, but I'm really excited about what I have planned. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I did is I separated my tasks between home and business because they are two different things and I have to get things done for both so I thought I would start off with writing all the things that I could think of at the time I might think of more as you know as I sit down and really really plan things out this is just my initial list so I started with my home and I listed all the things at the top of my head that I know that I do on a constant basis that as of now I don't have a set time for it but I do it I have to do it weekly, if not daily, but I don't have a set time for them. So I decided, let me write it down and then decide when I'm going to do it and how much time I need for each. So under home, I have my finances that I have to do. I have to clean weekly. I have to do laundry. I have to cook. I have to grocery shop. I have to meal plan. I have to spend time with my little kitties in the morning. Uh, my grandkids not my kids <laughs> um, I have to work out and I have to set time for my personal development these are things that I do all the time anyway but they are all over the place and although I feel like you know 2020 did give me an opportunity to get a lot of things done because I was home I am hoping that 2021 gets me out of the house more and if I don't have a set schedule you know, for things that I need to do. I'm afraid some of these things are not gonna get done or they're not gonna get done to my best, uh, the best of my ability because I, I'm either gonna be behind or feeling like I need to rush. So that's part of the reason you want to plan ahead and block schedule. The next thing I did was I did my work. So under my work tasks, I have fi finances, I have writing, I have YouTube recording, including editing right all anything that falls under youtube i also did social media because that's separate than youtube i did uh business meaning like business emails or anything to do with like the new membership site that i'm starting in january or uh doing my monthly email list anything that falls under business is that category then i have actually um planning so you know recording a video takes a lot of planning so that YouTube stuff is just recording and editing it's and taking the thumbnails and you know doing all the research and all that but not necessarily doing the planning of what I'm gonna record ahead of time or planning you know 
for the months ahead. So I have to set aside time for that because if not, then the month comes and you know, day by day, week by week, I have no idea what is ahead. And finally, under business, I have publishing, which is completely different than writing. Publishing is, you know, all the stuff like formatting your book and uploading it to the, you know, right print on demand company and getting and getting proofs, all that stuff falls under publishing, which is completely then different than writing. And since I have two books that I plan on publishing in 2021, I know that that is something that I will need some time to do. So now that I have my tasks, I went in and thought about, okay, so realistically, what are the days that I need to get some of these things done by? So I know that every Monday, my husband and I go grocery shopping because my husband works on the weekends. So Monday and Tuesday, he actually works usually Wednesday through Sunday. So Monday and Tuesday is usually like our running errands or a free day and things like that. Mondays are usually, you know, grocery shopping and then we come back and then, you know, it's just a busy day for us. So there's not a lot of work getting done, but there's a lot of home things getting done on Monday. So I thought Monday would be a good day to do my groceries and do my laundry and do my fi finances, not only for home, but also for the business. Now this is just a rough draft of what I think I might be able to do. I have not gone down and separated it yet by um, the time slot, which is really, really the important part of block scheduling because if you just say, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it Monday, but you don't know what time you're gonna do it on Monday, you know, you wake up and it's 10 o'clock at night and you haven't done anything, right? So it's not just important to pick the day that you're going to do it, but also the time that you're gonna give yourself to do it. If you're gonna do laundry, for example, give yourself, I'm gonna do laundry, you know, from when I get back from grocery shopping from 10 to two. And that means I need to get it all done. That means I need to get it in the washer and out of the dryer and fold it by two o'clock. Otherwise it's just, this is, doesn't work. You're doing it for nothing. So yeah, so the very first thing I also did um, at the very, that I know I will do at the start of every morning, I will do my personal development. I will work out. I will go upstairs and visit the kids before I get started to work. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, my daughter lives upstairs and I always, every morning I go see the, my grandkids. So realistically, I can't say, oh, I'm not gonna go see the kids until I'm done with my work. I know I won't be able to do that. So the best part, the best way to do it is to be realistic about what I know that I can stick to, what I know that works for me. So knowing that I do my personal development every morning, knowing that I work out every morning, and knowing that I visit the kids, I can realistically say from seven to nine, this is what I'm going to do. So now I have a block of time. If I go to my daughter's house at eight o'clock, I know that I have to be done by nine because I need to come downstairs and now get started on my next thing. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys a little bit. Once I perfect it a little more, especially in the coming year, 2021 at the start, I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos like this to try to help you guys also. And it just, I like it. I like talking about journals and I like talking about, you know, scheduling and planning and habits and personal development and just bettering myself. And I'm just really excited about this coming up year. And I think you guys are too. I think you guys need to feel that energy that things are gonna be amazing in 2021. 21. But anyways, aside from that, let's see. To this video's question is going to be, do you guys block schedule? Yes or no? Leave it in the comments below. As you guys know, to be entered in the giveaway, you have to like and comment on every video that I upload during Vlogmas. You also have to be subscribed to the channel. If you like this video and you think someone will benefit from it, you can also share it. I would love for you guys to share my content with other people that it might help them because that's ultimately what I am here for, to help you guys, to motivate you, and to inspire you to live your best life. All right, you guys, that's all for today. I will see you in a brand new video tomorrow. Until then, stay safe.